Many people still are not complying with social distancing guidelines. So that means even further restrictions have been put in place on what is allowed out in public. Let's go live right now to CBS 4's Mike Cunio with more on that. Yeah, right now we're at a park in Doral, and obviously parks are closed. We've only seen one person really come in here and walk. Otherwise, everyone's taking uh, Mayor Jimenez's order seriously, staying on the sidewalks, not congregating in groups of more than 10. Uh, he says he wants people to act as if they know they have the virus and stay in unless it's absolutely necessary. Stay home, and I repeat, Stay home. Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez issuing an executive order limiting the number of people gathering in public buildings on streets or sidewalks to a maximum of 10 people while still observing the rules of social distancing. So Miami-Dade County's orders are in effect shelter in place, stay at home because everything else is closed. Everything including parks, basketball courts and playgrounds have gone quiet but this isn't the case everywhere. Large hangouts or gatherings at coffee windows just like this is exactly what Mayor Jimenez is trying to discourage. And I'm warning you now that if a store is unable to consistently keep people from getting too close, I will be forced to shut it down. The order excludes essential businesses and grocery stores, but lines like these need to be corrected to reflect the CDC guidelines of six feet apart. Governor Ron DeSantis, who issued a similar order statewide, took it one step forward and warned families about large private get-togethers. Consistent with what the CDC says, uh, you should not have any social group uh, uh, of 10 people or more. So that means, you know, just because it's a private residence, you should not right now be having 50 people uh, for a party. Now, of course, with religious holidays just around the corner, Mayor Jimenez is asking places of worship to transition uh, their services online. In Doral, Mike Cunio, CBS4 News.